welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the very first Ascension Accelerator Plus Channeling and Chat. I'm very excited to be doing this. If you remember, we used to do these Channeling and Chat live streams. Um, we used to do these uh, all the time on our YouTube channel. Now we're bringing it into the membership as a much more sacred container. Ascension Accelerator Plus is one level above that. You have access to all of the Ascension Essentials content, but we are also focused on community because it is so essential to have community along this journey. It is what keeps us sane. It is what keeps us grounded. It is what keeps us very centered. And just having that soul family, having that soul tribe is, is so important. I've experienced that myself, which is why community has always been so important to me. So Ascension Accelerator Plus has everything from Ascension Essentials plus the group calls and so bi-monthly we might add more to it but starting off bi-monthly twice a month we are having these channeling and chats now these channeling and chats are going to be very casual it's an opportunity for us to get together to chat to discuss to ask questions uh, i will be doing some channeling during these especially if there are some cosmic supportive events that are happening today we're going to be talking about eclipse season um, they're also an opportunity for you to dive deeper into questions that you might have with regards to the journey, with regards to anything spiritual. So this is not just about your sacred union. This could be about anything. You could have questions about manifestation. You can have questions about spiritual development. You could have questions about how to hone your intuition, have questions about protection. This is our space for our ascension journey to ask questions and to discuss everything spiritual. There's also an upgrade option. And what happens is we just do some one-on-one -on -one within the group setting. Um, so if you have a specific scenario that's going on in your journey that you want some guidance on, you want some support and coaching on, we can do that in this kind of group setting of a hot seat session. It's kind of like getting a one-on-one -on -one coaching session or a reading with me, but within the group setting. And I, what I like about the group setting is that you have the support of this amazing community. And I know that many of you have experienced this group setting. Um, you have experienced the amazingness uh, of this community, how supportive we all are, how encouraging we all are. Um, so it's the added support. You also have um, access to a private Facebook group as well to ask questions, support each other, share information, share stuff um, along your journey that is helpful to you. So it is a beautiful community resource that is going to benefit breakthroughs and transformation for you and your journey in support of you and your journey. And so I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to how our group chats grow, how this community grows. The more we work together, the more you have the opportunity for the breakthroughs um, and the transformations and the shifts in perspective and the shifts within your energy and your identity and yourself. So I have three levels so that you can go with the one that you feel is suitable for you um, at this moment, not just where you are, but where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? There are some things I want to talk about. I want to talk about how money impacts your connection. I want to talk about how the karmic um, impacts your connection. So we'll be talking about that in later channeling and chats. Make sure that you're staying tuned. Uh, today, however, we're going to do a little bit of a channeling. We have uh, two eclipses coming up. So the first is going to be the September eclipse. It is a partial lunar eclipse that is occurring on September 17th and 18th. Um, then we have October 2nd, an annual, annular solar eclipse. Um, the thing that I keep getting from this is that this, this eclipse season really feels like a rebirth. And I feel like this is part of the Pluto in retrograde kind of energy. Before it moves into Aquarius, it has to finish up its job in Capricorn. Pluto is the energy of transformation. It is the underworld. It is going deep within the core of itself. And you know, I like to, to use the word soul sludge. It is clearing out that soul sludge. And I mean, it is going deep, 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 deep. It is going like way down into the unconscious, way down into the shadows and clearing anything that is not authentic because Aquarius likes authenticity. Aquarius requires authenticity, and that's the age that we're moving into. When I say an age, it's because it's going to, Pluto's going to transit into Aquarius and stay there 
for the next 20 or so years. We, we call it the, I'm in my villain era, <laughs> because that's essentially what it is. You're in your villain era where you are saying no. You're saying no more, no more to abandoning myself, no more to rejecting myself, no more to neglecting myself. It's this energy, what I'm getting is, listen, you can come into my life or out of my life, but you can't stay in the door anymore. That's the kind of energy that Pluto and Aquarius is bringing in. It is this, this authority. It is this new identity for yourself. It is this, I'm not taking any bullshit because I know that's not what I deserve. And that's what your ascension journey has brought you through. And everybody who has been going through their ascension has been going through this cycle, this Pluto and Capricorn shifting into Pluto and Aquarius cycle, especially for those who are cardinal signs, Libra, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, you've been really ending this cycle, uh, really shifting in your self-identity. So you'll be really feeling the impact of this. But again, it's impacting everybody. You know, we got a taste of what it felt like to be authentically us. We got a taste of what it feels like to be liberated. We got a taste of what it feels like to not put up with anything less than what we deserved. We got a taste of it. But now Pluto's like, okay, you got a taste of it. Now let's clear out anything that is really holding you back from, from really sinking your teeth into that, from really being who you are. Pluto is saying, we have been going through this transformation for 15 to 16 years. Now it's time to really embody that. And so Pluto into Capricorn is saying, anywhere where you're not embodying that new version of yourself, that new identity, anywhere where you haven't upgraded, you know, how you see yourself and, and in your authentic self, where you're not aligning with your soul self, now is the time to shift. Now is the time to clear it out. So that when Pluto moves into Aquarius, you're moving with more confidence, moving with more authority, moving with more authenticity. You are who you are. You're the upgraded version of yourself. You have raised your standards. You have healthy boundaries. You have re a really healthy self-concept now. You, you have become your soul self. You are aligned fully with your soul self. So this is the time right now Pluto retrograding into Capricorn, where you are clearing out any of that residue, any of that debris, any of that last last effects of the old version of yourself because you have upgraded into the new. And that's what eclipse season is about. Eclipse season is support for that shift, for that transformation. You are unafraid to walk your path, unafraid to be fully you. This is this rebirth, the unexpected, yeah. So this is also an energy of expect the unexpected. And that came through in a, a Sacred Union Energy update, if you guys remember, a couple of weeks ago. Don't fear the unexpected. Like, that's I that was coming through in the reading. It was like, don't, don't be all doomsday about it. Don't fear the unexpected. The unexpected is just a realignment. Okay, this is a, a really important message that's coming through and I want to make sure that I get it right. The unexpected is just unexpected to our ego, right? Because our ego likes patterns. Our ego sits in the comfort zone. So the unexpected is only unexpected to our ego. What the unexpected is, is just an alignment, a realignment of ourselves. So there might be a tower moment, there might be a shakeup, but what happens from tower moments? There's always a breakthrough, there's always a new direction, there's always something new. There's always something that good that comes from it. After the tower, there's the star, there's the sun, there's, you know, all these positive cards. You have to sometimes go through tower moments as part of your journey to kind of move direction. But your soul knows the way. The more that we tune into where our soul is guiding us, the more that we have faith in that, the more that we have trust in that, the more we're not fearing the unexpected. We're not creating doomsday scenarios in our head because we know that that we're supported. We know that we're guided. We know that we ourselves have got this. When I say we ourselves have got this, I mean ourselves, our soul selves, our human selves in conjunction, in connection with God's source with God, with the universe. You're not separate from God. You're not separate from the universe. You're not separate from yourself. It's only, we only fear because we are separate from ourselves. We only fear when we are disconnected from ourselves. If we are embodying that faith and that trust and that connection and that oneness, we know that there's nothing to fear, right? Fear itself can be an illusion. So when we're saying expect the unexpected, it's not anything to be afraid of. Get excited, Create the unexpected. Create that. What is it that you want? You're just aligning to what it is that you want. Expecting the unexpected 
isn't something that is fear-based. It is something that is just saying, get ready. Get ready for a change. Your soul is saying, get ready for a change. Get ready even for an upgrade because that's what's happening. You have been manifesting this change, but now you have to trust in the manifestation. That's what the unexpected is. It's only unexpected to our ego mind, but our souls know the way. Our souls will always know the way. This is exactly what I'm talking about. What is it that you're creating? The unexpected is just a redirection. The unexpected is just a change that is aligning you to your creation. So as you shift your energy, your physical reality naturally needs to realign to it. And we see this in the Twin Flame Collective. We see this in the Twin Flame journey, especially with your Twin Flame because your Twin Flame is you. So they're always going to be mirroring back you. Now, everybody is, is an aspect of us. Everybody is a reflection of us. Every experience is a reflection of us. But your twin flame is the ultimate catalyst. Your twin flame is you in that energy of unconditional love. You are one. I feel like I've been getting some downloads as far as like how to better articulate oneness so that we fully embody it, we fully embrace it, we fully understand it, and not just intellectually because it's not just something that is regurgitated. It's not just something that is said. It is something that is felt. It is something that is experienced. And it's something that is fully embodied and anchored in. And when we fully embody and anchor it in, everything changes. Literally everything changes. So even with my own situation, you know, my own scenario, we were in physical union, so to speak, um, but we weren't able to sustain it because it wasn't embodied. And what I've been experiencing over the past year is the embodiment. And sometimes it takes separation in order to really embody that and understand that. Because what was happening with us is the mirror was so strong that we weren't able to break those cycles. And so we had to shift the pattern and kind of come apart in order to come back together better. Um, in order to come into this union, in order to feel that union within ourselves and to feel that there is no separation, even physically, even across time, even across distance, there is no separation. I don't feel separate from my counterpart at all. He is always part of me. He is always with me. There is nothing that is lacking. It doesn't matter what the 3D is showing itself. I'm not lacking my connection with my counterpart. The inner world with my counterpart is so rich. I feel him. I, I sense him telepathically. Um, I sense that love from him and for him. There's nothing that is lacking. It is it is this pure embodiment of that union energy and all the phenomena that I felt in the beginning of, of the journey. Like it's there, but it's organic. It's embodied. I'm not like, oh my gosh, this is wild. This is crazy. It's just a natural part of me now. He's just naturally there with me always. And I've just come to embrace it. It's just a normal part of my life. It's just a normal part of me now. Can feel kind of crazy, can feel kind of wild um, when I put it into words, but it's just, it just is. It just is now. When things were falling apart, even though things were falling apart, there was a calmness about me. There was a peace about me because I could see the bigger picture. I could see, okay, this might feel like the end, but it, it's not the end. And I knew it. And that's what I had faith in. And I wavered, you know, because it was like I, I thought they would come together sooner. Um, so I definitely wavered. And, and there were circumstances in my physical reality that had me doubting and had me questioning. Um, but over the past, I want to say, I want to say six months. Over the past six months, I have really anchored in to that within myself, to that union, to that embodiment within myself. And that has changed everything for me. It has changed me. It has changed my physical reality. It has changed my connection. It has just changed. It has healed so much. And that healing hasn't come from him directly. It has come from the energy. It has come from within myself. And that ha is how uh, it's been reflected in my physical reality. There's so much healing. So it's it's you're not looking from the outside in anymore you're looking from within from within and um as part of ascension accelerator plus you'll have access to um the workshop that we're doing called the bridge of the heart on sunday this september 15th uh we'll be talking about this we'll be talking about separation we'll be talking about union we'll be doing a guided meditation to connect with your twin flame or sacred partner on that bridge of the heart within you and we're going to be anchoring that in and, and learning how to embody that union within. So I hope you guys will join me. Let's end with that. And I am sending you guys so much love, so much light. So we're doing this by, by monthly, every two weeks. So the next one is going to be on Wednesday, September 25th. So I will see you guys 
Wednesday, September 25th at 2. Don't forget that you can catch the replay. And I'm sending you guys lots of love and lots of light. We'll see you then. Bye.